Hey Anthony, how are you? I'm doing good, how about you? Doing good. So it's game week. I mean, for all the hard work you put in, all summer, all camp, it's only three days away. How exciting is it for you and your teammates to let you know the game's right around the corner? It's just really exciting to actually hit somebody different than the old line, especially D-line. We're hitting you know, throughout camp. It's the same person. It's just, it's going to be fun hitting somebody different finally. We've heard so much about those defensive lines throughout camp. How confident are you guys going into this first game? I think we're real confident due to our depth. You know, we have KD back, we have uh, Big Cat, you know, Cam Good, he's been doing good all camp. Same thing with Keenan Hester. So, like, the whole D-line, especially defensive end, D-tackle, just we have depth now compared to last year. As you study Boise, what stands out to you about their offense and their quarterback? So, offensively, their offensive line and quarterback, they're all experienced. You know, they're registered juniors, registered seniors, so they've been in the game, they've played it before. Um, obviously, with the offensive coordinator being different, um, from last year, it's from Houston. He's from Houston, UC Davis. Excuse me. Uh, we just have to look, look at UC Davis film, look at the scheme, and then the personnel we got in at Boise. Andy, you look at this game Thursday, a chance to be playing in front of a full pack stand for the first time in quite a while. How do you guys kind of handle those emotions? I mean, and plus the fact that you're playing against a good team like Boise State and it's on national television. Um, emotionally, I think everybody's going to be all over the place. First play, I think that's just what every first game of college. You know, it's not that we're unconfident in what we do or in any team, essentially, but I think, like, as soon as that first hit happens, as soon as that first ball is snapped, everybody's going to be like, all right, I know where I'm at. Anthony, as a defensive unit, has maybe key will, have you guys kind of talked about goals and what you want to accomplish, you know, in your first year in this new system? So, yeah, we talked about goals defensively and as just, you know, D-tackle-wise, D-end-wise. Um, defensively, you just want to be all conference everywhere. We want to do everything right. We want to be the number one defense. Hey, Anthony, the coach said that this quarterback definitely had a lot of tools, you know, that he can use against you guys. Um, how important is your depth to try and get him? Well, let me think about that question, honestly. That's a good question. <laughs> so he does have a lot of tools, especially with running back number 24. And then, I mean, they're all big backs, 24. I think it's 23. And I think the other one's five, I want to say. And then the wide receivers, bro, they have, like, um, offensive line experience, so you know him being a pocket passer, he can also get out. So depth wise, we just got to keep the D line fresh, have fresh legs in there, and just make sure we got to stop the run so we can get the guys. How have you seen UCF's defense change over the course of camp? Over the course of camp, I mean, we went from you know, I don't want to say not knowing the plays, but being uncomfortable in certain situations, and now being comfortable where we're at. And you guys have played in the heat and humidity here in Florida, obviously. You played against teams that aren't used to playing in that. What What are some of the things that make it difficult for teams to, to come down here and play in those conditions? It's definitely humidity. You know, other than the bounce house, bounce house, bounce house excuse me, wow, I'm all over the place today. Bounce house, <laughs> being, bounce house being uh, loud, definitely the humidity is going to get to them. Um, I mean, even with us, like, you know, we see people on the field, like, it's getting to them. So, but we're we used to it right now. If the crowds are back, I don't know if you saw there was a couple games over the weekend, you know, it's kind of cool to see, you know, games that weren't being played in empty stadiums anymore. So how much are you looking forward to that? How much can that be a boost to you guys? Because you remember some games in the past where, you know, crowd gets on, remember that, you know, 2018 Cincinnati game and stuff like that. How much of a, of a boost can the crowd be on Thursday night? I mean, you just get goosebumps here in the bounce house, you know? Like, it's just motivation to actually, when you make a play or do something great and you hear the crowd screaming for you compared to last year where you heard nothing, you heard crickets, you know, sometimes. But uh, I think for everybody here, hearing that loud noise is going to get to them a little bit. Gonna shock them. I think it's gonna bring out the great. Any else? Very cool. Yeah, I, obviously you talked about how you figure, you figure really deep on, on the defensive line. Uh, Big Cat Bryant um, came in in the summer, got a team captain spot. Just you know, only being here a couple of months. Can you just kind of add to what he's been able to provide, and, and you know, what are we gonna see from him maybe when he gets on the field on Thursday? So to start off, he's a heck of a guy, man. He brings the energy every day. You know, even when he says he's tired, he's still bringing the energy. Um, you can tell he's experienced. You know, he has a lot of experience on the belt. He can do things that sometimes we look at him like, how did you do that? Like, you know, we're asking him for tips and tricks, you know, uh, especially at the defensive end spot. So he just brings, like, the energy and everything he does. Yeah, and another guy, Clea Davis, for a guy obviously he wasn't here last year, opted out, you know, doesn't look like he's missed a beat. Like, what is he going to provide just knowing that, you know, he's been described as an all-conference caliber player? Like you said, he's an all-conference caliber player. Like I said, I think it was, what was it, 2019? I think he's the best defense tackle. He has so much raw talent that it's kind of like unbelievable. I think he's only 22. You know, just look at him, it's like, dang, you know, like, he can make it. You know what I'm saying? Even the coaches know that he can make it to the next level, and I think that's where we need to.
One more thing real quick. Just Are there some players that's just kind of you're excited to see play? Maybe some guys that hadn't played a lot in the past. Maybe some guys that were freshmen last year, freshmen this year, maybe transfers. Or there's some guys that maybe did really well on camp that you're just excited to see how they do this season. So Kalia Davis, I'm excited to see him play. You know, I've been seeing him practice, but in the game, it's a, it's a bit different. Everybody has that game speed, different game speed. Uh, Big Cat, Keenan has started camp good. You know, I'm excited. Keenan's been doing real good, same thing at camp good. Like, they both have been just stepping up their game in every way, so I'm excited to see them play. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Good luck, man.